Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be playing some Mega Draft. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the log here. I feel like log is just like the best spell. I feel like I only don't take log at the start whenever there's like no good big spells or there's no counter to monk. But there's two good big spells, so I'd rather take like the only good small spell. Or not the only good one, but the best one. And then there's also good counters to monk like Inferno Dragon and Zappy, so I don't need to take monk first. He takes Bar Barrel and he might take like I don't know, like, okay, he takes Inferno Dragon. I guess that makes sense. I could go Zappy's Fireball, but I think I want to go for a Graveyard deck, so... Because there's only RG, Graveyard, and Ram Rider as a good win cons. Like, nobody's taking Goblin Giant. Nobody's taking, like, Lava. I mean, he won't, he might, but I don't see it, because I drag is the only good air card, so... It wouldn't make sense for him to play with Lava Hound. Okay, let's see, though. I think I'm going to go for the Poison here. I think I'd just rather have poison so I can play with graveyard. Hmm. But if I go for monk, then I feel like monk is really good, and there's not that many good ground cards. And since I have the zappies, he only has inferno dragon, but I can reset the inferno dragon, so I think monk is best. And now I can take the poison. He's already took fireball, but I think I, I've been committed to poison anyway, so I'll just take the poison. And if he took poison, I would have just ended up playing RG. That's why I like ha I have this solid structure where I can kind of fit in like any win condition here that you could that's what you kind of want to do you usually want to have like a solid structure so you can take many like different win conditions not be tied down to one and then if they take it or if they just counter it then you can't do anything i think here mortar could be good cannon cards good i think i'll take cannon cart because i don't see him taking mortar if i have the cannon cart but if i don't if i take the mortar i can see him taking the cannon cart so i definitely want to go for cannon cart first i think he's playing he's building a ram rider deck um here I'll go for Mortar and Graveyard, and then I think I'll take Mini P.E.K.K.A. last if he doesn't take um any of those cards. I guess I'll see, though. I guess it kind of... Okay, he takes Fire Spirit. I don't know why he didn't take E-Spirit. He knows I'm going to go Graveyard. Why didn't he just take E-Spirit? That was kind of dumb. Yeah, I'll go for Mortar and Graveyard here. He's probably going to go for, like, Ram Rider Giant Skeleton. That's my guess. He's going to go, like, Ram Rider Giant Skelly just because... I mean, Ram Rider, like, nothing else works with this, and then he can't take RG, there's no Fisher, so Fisher is kind of, like, no f RG, no Fisher is stupid. Oh, what? What does he take now? Like, maybe, like, E-Spirit? Oh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. I was going to take that. That's annoying. It's fine, though. I'll just go for the... I'll go for the Bomber. Bomber's cheap, and it will help kill, like, the Mini P.E.K.K.A., the Fire Spirit, the Bar Barrel, just small stuff like that. And it'll also just help put chip down the RG, and it's just cheap. I have a pretty expensive deck. Don't want to take anything too crazy. Okay. Sandbox is really good. This is going to be a hard game. Um, I'll just go for my Bomber here on the Fire Spirit. Always nice to put something cheap on the Fire Spirit. He goes for the Royal Ghost. I'll go for my Monk here for the Ghost. Okay. He, I don't... He might... Okay, he goes for the Inferno Dragon. Wait, I'm going to Zappies behind the Monk. And then I'm going to pop the Monk ability because he's going to try to fireball the uh, so the Inferno Dragon doesn't die. Oh, let's go. I won. He's dead. I'm just going to Graveyard and he's dead. He can't do anything. <laughs> I knew that he was going to fireball. Let's go. That was so smart. And now he's dead. I'm just going to go for my Mortar here and it's over. Let's go. <laughs> he couldn't do anything. Let's go. There's actually no way that just worked. I'm kind of surprised that this worked against a player like Sandbox, but I'll take it. Um, I don't know if he'll give up just yet, because maybe he could get a good comeback, because I don't really have a good cycle for RG, but if he does RG, I'll go, like, Bomber Zappies and take, like, two or three hits. I'll be okay. Okay, maybe he gave up. I'll just cycle my Bomber in the back and see if he gave up. Um, I don't want to get, like, fate given up on. <laughs> Some people, like, pretend to give up, and then they try to rush you. You guys probably know about stuff like that. Yeah, okay, he definitely gave up. Let's go for Monkey and 3-count him, so I'll see you guys in the next match. That was really good. Okay, I'm in the next game here against this guy. I'm just going to go for the... I think I want to go for the Fireball here. I'm going to take Fireball because I feel like there's nothing like that Poison's really good against in this. And also, I kind of want to go for like a different type of deck. E-Giant looks really good and Royal Giant looks really good in this because there's Fisher. So, obviously you can't play E-Giant with Poison or Fisher. So, I feel like Fireball is more versatile with all the win conditions. Yeah, I think I'm going to play with an RG deck. I'm gonna take the fisherman but maybe i could like pretend i'm building an rg and then switch it and take e giant or something like that or maybe even go for like a weird three musketeers if he doesn't take poison that is i'll take the fisherman here and the mega minion 
I feel like Mega Minion is really good against the Flying Machine. It's one of the best counters to the Flying Machine. It's definitely going to be worth it. And, yeah, I, I think I should take Fisherman just, just to make him think I'm building an RG. Then I could maybe grab E Giant or even take RG. There's Because I have Fireball. Like, there's no, like, Inferno Tower. There's no Inferno Dragon. RG is just hard to stop. I mean, he's probably going to take Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, he takes Mighty Miner to stop the RG, okay? M Mighty Miner is good. You'll probably maybe you'll take guards as well, because guards can block um guards can block fish. Oh, he takes goblins. They're cheaper and there's no log or barb barrel, so I can't really like kill the goblins right away to get my fish to pull the mighty. That was smart. Okay. I want Archer Queen, but at the same time I might play an E Giant. So I'm gonna take the NATO. Tornado is really good, and it works with both. And then here, I think I'll go for maybe barbs. No matter what he takes. No, I'm going to take cannon. I'm going to take cannon. Just so he can't have it for my RG or E Giant. And then I feel like cannon will just be solid with no matter what he takes. Because, like, for the win conditions he could take, is like, he could go, like, minor. He could go for skelly barrel. Like, I don't know. It's like minor skelly barrel or something. Cannon will just be solid. Cannon's good versus the mighty minor, too. Goes for Princess. I guess I don't have, like, anything good for it, but I feel like Princess isn't really that threatening. I think he, this pick, I'll go for, like, Barbs. And maybe, like, hmm. I don't know what else to take. I, oh, yeah, Archer Queen. I'm going to take Archer Queen because then he might take Lightning, but then he still needs a win condition. And then he won't be able to take a building, and then I can just take E-Giant. Yeah, he's forced into taking a big spell to kill my queen. And then he needs a, a win condition. So either he plays with no win condition. Or he plays with a building. Let's see. And maybe he doesn't even think about me taking E-Giant. And he's just worried about me taking the RG. And he's not even worried. And yeah, okay, he takes Minor. And I'm just going to take E-Giant. I won. He can't do anything. All I have to do is drop an E-Giant. And pull, use the Fisherman to pull the Giant Skeleton away. And he can't do anything. I'm going to wait for him to play the first card. And no matter what he puts, I'm just going to E-Giant in the back. And then I just win. He won't be able to defend. Okay, Princess, I'm just going to eat Giant, and that's game. He's probably just going to Giant Skelly in the back. Oh, okay, he lost. I'm just going to Barbs. Oh, wait, what was that? He just spent 8 Elixir. Or 9 Elixir, I mean. He's dead. Yeah, that's, that's game. <laughs> he can't do anything. This, this is the fun thing about Mega Drafts when your opponent just can't do anything. Like, I'm just going to Fisherman here, pull away the, um, the Princess, and he can't even Giant Skelly now. And that's just game already <laughs> let's go i'm just holding nato in case he goes for giant skelly yeah i think he gave up i'll just go for the queen to three count him let's go i just can't believe that he went for the minor instead of a building but then he wouldn't have had a wing con maybe he just had to go for no big spell but then queen would have got a lot of value that queen pick was really smart it put him in like a really weird and awkward position to be able to do like anything at all he was just like kind of dead from the start Let's go for the fireball here. And I also feel like I got like the better end of the draft. Like just taking fireball, I just like made my like choices better. I had more options because I could play with RG and like stuff like that, where he was just limited to whatever he could use with arrows. That's kind of bad for him. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot to start recording, but um I'm against Ian here. I have this deck. I have a really good matchup here, I'm pretty sure, because he doesn't have any air counters to my balloon. He only has wizard, but that's not good enough. And also, I wanted to show you guys this game against Ian. I thought I was recording, but then he said I wasn't. It's just kind of annoying. I'll go for my goblins. Okay. Don't catch the miner, unfortunately. I'll go for my... I'm not going to Mighty Miner at the bridge. I'll Mighty Miner in the back here. Okay, he goes for the furnace. I'll just Earthquake on the furnace. Kind of a bad furnace, knowing that I have Earthquake. And I think I could just Royal Hogs behind this. I mean... He has Skelly King. Actually, I'm going to Balloon. I'm going to Balloon. He can't defend the Balloon that good. Okay, he goes for Fisher. He's going to go for um, Wizard. But that's the only air defense he has besides Furnace, but he doesn't have Furnace in hand. He has the arrows as well, but I'm still going to get the Death Bomb on the tower even after he spent 8 Elixir on the Balloon. I'll go for a Valkyrie here on the Wizard, and then I'll just Royal Hogs at the bridge. He doesn't have Furnace. He only has a Skelly King, but that, like, it's it's good, but it's not, like, good enough. He Fire Spirits as well, but that's a ton of damage. And the Valkyrie's going to pretty much kill it. I'll Magic Archer at the bridge too, just because I know he can't punish me. His only win condition is Minor. He doesn't have any, like, spammy pressure cards, so... Yeah, he just goes Fisher and he takes three Magic Archer shots. That's already game. <laughs> Ian is so bad, man. M maybe one day Ian will finish higher than me in, in a ladder season. 
I'll just go for my goblins here on the fishermen. Very nice earthquake, because I'll probably just set up with the furnace since I don't have the earthquake anymore. This is okay. I'll be fine, I think. Okay. I'll just go for my ice spirit here on top of the fire spirit. Then the ice spirit will counter two of them, and then I can just ignore the rest of them. I'll go for my mighty miner here. Very nice miner predict. Always easy to predict the end. His plays are so obvious. He's like he's like a robot. Like he does the same thing every single time, no matter what. I feel like it's really easy to know what he's gonna do. Like, I feel like I can call out. Like if he's playing like a hog rider, that I can call out the whole game before it even happens. Like you just know what he's gonna do. I'll pop my ability here. Just push back the wizard and pretty much kill it. I'll go for my magic archer here on top of the fire spirit. He's gonna poison like an idiot. Yep, I knew he's gonna poison. Now I'll just go Valkyrie balloon. He doesn't have wizard. Doesn't have poison. And then I'll just earthquake the furnace, and he's dead. Just, what was that poison, dude? <laughs> like, that's the thing. I knew he would poison. I knew it was a terrible play, but I knew he'd poison because he's not very smart. And he just, <laughs> he just didn't know. Okay, I'll go for my goblins here on the miner. Perfect. Easy catch. Again, just miner in the back every time for no reason. Valkyrie here on the wizard. And that's game. I just need to defend. I'll just go mighty miner loon on the king because I assume he's going to give up. But maybe not just because he's like, he's like salty that I beat him or something. Oh, ice spear goblins here as well. Nah, he gave up. Nice. Let's go for my earthquake here. Easy win. <laughs> he is not that guy. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.